Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back from my trip and uh, I uh, did a post yesterday about viral meal profits um, but, and I know it's kind of rare to have such a quick new video right after but I had an experience yesterday that I have to share with you guys and this, this might take a few minutes so please bear with me as I try to explain to you what happened. Okay, yesterday after I picked up my son from school I went to Walmart, the local Walmart here in uh, Edmonton, uh, this su South Edmonton Commons um, Walmart. I, I uh, spent quite a bit of money last yesterday. I bought some groceries. I, I bought a new snowblower. I spent a lot of money because I've been away on vacation for like, you know, three weeks now. So I had a lot of catching up to do. But uh, I got home after I, after I spent the money at Walmart and uh, I was kind of looking at my, uh, my printer. And I, I bought this printer at Walmart <clears throat> about two months ago. Um, and it's been giving me constant problems, and I and I said I was going to deal with it when I got back from vacation. Um, but Walmart has a policy, a 14-day policy, when it comes to uh, electronics. Uh, I was not aware of that, but uh, when I when I got there, I, I asked if I could. I wasn't even trying to get my money back. Basically, what I was doing was was trying to get store credit or something to kind of help me pay for all the stuff I just bought. Um, but they, they couldn't do that. It's basically, it was Samsung's problem. It wasn't Walmart's, which I did not know about the 14 day policy. But I, ex I, I totally accept that. That's fine. I accept that. What I have issue with, though, is, um, is, is the customer service specialist manager that was there w w totally brushed me off. D didn't hear my concerns. Literally rolled his eyes at me and laughed when I was trying to explain my story. Um, he, he totally ducked any questions I had and literally just stood behind the, the counter and just had his arms crossed like that laughing. Um, which I thought was really weird because he's a customer service manager. I'm thinking, okay, what happens if I would do this in the kind of business I'm in? I'm, I'm in a people business and yeah, obviously I'm not Walmart, but it, it took me, it took me by surprise because Walmart is, is this massive company that I think customer service should be paramount with. Um, and, and I, and I basically made a decision that I'm never going to shop at Walmart again, but the power of social media has worked because lo and behold, we have, um, so a certain someone in the traffic exchange industry that actually works for the corporate side of Walmart and has sent me personal messages and texted me and wanted to know my concerns. So Walmart, you kind of got saved because I was never going to go back, but because you have a guy who works for you. And has really addressed my concerns and said he was going to look into this for me. It kind of lessened the blow. But it, it, I got a couple of pictures below this video I want to show you guys. Um, a, a kind of uh, the, the, the state of affairs that seems to be happening at companies like Walmart when it comes to social media. Uh, uh, the lack of customer service and the importance I think that they need to get back into that. Um, so, and I just got the text from him right there. There he goes. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it, check out the pictures, comment what you guys think. And again, that wasn't me trying to get a handout. I'm not trying to get my money back. I understand and accept 14 day return policies. I'm past the 14 days. Hey, that's cool. All I wanted was someone to listen to my concerns. That's all I wanted. And, uh, the guy, the, the customer service specialist or manager, uh, didn't do that. And I think it really hurt. So, um. Yeah, anyways, uh, post your comments, your experiences, wh how, what you think of this, um, and also the two little pictures that I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I, I find that very interesting. So anyways, thanks for, I know this has got kind of nothing to do with traffic exchanges, but it kind of does kind of at the same time because it's customer service, right? And, and the customers are the reason we're in business. And I think when we forget that, we lose. So always put your customers first. That's what I've learned from this experience. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And please do comment. Let me know. And I'm going to scoot over here and uh, shut it off. Thanks.